Halloween is the direct sequel of John Carpenter's Halloween. This one is directed by David Gordon Green, starring Jamie Lee Curtis, who is back as Laurie Strode, ready to take on Michael Myers herself. She now has a daughter who she kind of pushed away because of her paranoia. Michael has been in an institution for 40 years, and on the 40th anniversary, he's being transferred to another hospital, and of course, he breaks out and wreaks havoc upon Haddonfield once again. I love the original Halloween, as you guys saw in yesterday's video. It builds tension so well, creating a sense of paranoia that the shape is around the corner at all times. It's an all-time classic, and this film does a good job maintaining the same sense of paranoia, just not to the same extent as the original. This movie has a very similar tone to the original, however, it is modernized for 2018. It has a lot more humor, it's much more violent, and it has a faster pace. In some ways, that makes this film a little bit more thrilling than the original because of that one's slower pace. The only drawback is it never reaches the same heights of tension that the original one had. This film does a really good job with humor at times, but other times it seems to be completely out of place. The kid in this movie, Julian, is really funny when he's on screen, although he has a very small role. And there are some scenes, like I said, that don't fit, like this weird scene where two police officers are arguing about brownie or something like that. I mean, it's just some of it works, some of it doesn't. This film is much more graphic and violent than the original. The body count is so much higher, and some of the kills are brutal in the best ways. There are so many great scenes in this movie where Myers is creeping up on people in their own houses, following them around, and it's so well directed and the scares are very effective. This film, like the original, is filled with characters that are there just to die at the hands of Michael Myers. I do wish this film focused more on Jamie Lee Curtis's character and her family. Everything with Lori was so good. I loved how crazy and hardened she became after her traumatic experience in her past. She stocked up on weapons, she trained every single day hoping for the chance to take down her nemesis. I love the fact that she pushed her daughter so hard as a kid in order to prepare her for the bad things in this world, even at the expense of being hated by her. It is such a strong conflict, I only wish that it focused a little bit more on that rather than just introducing it at the beginning of the movie and then resolving it at the end. All of the character arcs in this film are like that. They have the best intentions, yet none of them go past the surface level. My favorite part of this movie has to be in the final act when Laurie and Michael go head to head. Uh, there are so many great homages to the original that I won't spoil for you guys, and there's a really cool twist in perspective at the end. There are so many great moments in this movie from when Michael Myers first escapes to when he's attacking innocent bystanders in Haddonfield to of course the absolutely thrilling finale, but it's a story that ties all of these moments together that is not as strong. Overall, I really like this movie. It is a worthy sequel to the original and it's definitely worth the price of admission. See it with a big crowd if you guys can. You guys can find me on Twitter at the UR Movies. This is day two of the 13 days of Halloween, so subscribe to the channel to get all of those reviews every day up until the 31st. Uh, I also have the Talking Movies podcast, and episodes should be going up later this weekend. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next review. Mm -hmm.